We're starting with something which most people in the cooked world know, apple pie. Oh, nice. Okay. How do we get started? We have to start days ahead of time. Mm. In the raw world, there's a lot of food preparation going on. So, for example, if you notice here, we have almonds. We actually soak this beforehand. The almonds are soaked eight hours to 48 hours ahead of time. That not only removes the resin, which is actually toxic, but it also takes out a lot of the fat and it makes the, the actual nut or the seed more digestible. You see, we also have walnuts here. This, however, must be soaked 48 hours. This is eight to 48. This must be 48. The water has to be changed and it has to be rinsed every morning and every evening. Okay. So there's a lot of work that goes into it beforehand. You'll see that we'll make this pie really fast today. Mm -hmm. The real work came beforehand. Okay. So we're going to start with the crust, since you already have the almonds there. And we're going to take a food processor and we're going to throw these almonds. Now this is one and a quarter cup of almonds before you soak them. After you soak them, they'll become two cups. They expand. Exactly. Okay. So if recipe calls okay. for two cups, you know that we pre-soak in this one and a quarter. And I see you've got the dates there. Dates are what we're going to be using as a sweetener. We open up the dates, totally open them up, totally expose the inner workings of the date, and then we'll take the pit out. We now put this in the food processor, and we also did something else before. We took an orange, we took the zest of the orange, and we have a special equipment for that. And we will now process it. All we need is to make sure that it is chopped up. We've got two dates left over. And we're going to actually put some flaxseed oil in the pie dish. And we're going to take a brush and we're just going to make sure that you distribute it evenly there. And we're going to make the crust now by just emptying this in here so there's no flour. As we start working with it, we, you know, what you're doing when you're working with food is you're transferring your own energy into food. So send the energy of love into it and you will see that it responds in kind. So if you want to go and play with this, you're in love to do this. Okay, you smush it all around up on the sides as well, too, yes. right? <laughs> we smush it. Smush. Yes. <laughs> are we done with these? Yes, we are. So if you notice here, Lauren, this, we have here the apples that have been soaked in lemon juice. Here, we have soaked it with apple juice, and that's to keep the moisture intact. So we've got Macintosh, we've got Gala, we've got Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, all kinds. What we're going to be doing now is creating the filling. So the filling, what we're going to be doing first is taking the dates that have already been pre-soaked. Here they are. And they've been soaked in apple juice. So we're going to put this in here now. And this is the only thing we're going to process. So what you could do is you can start putting the filling in here, which is you can put half of this and half of this into the large bowl okay. while I make this. So we're going to be now taking this and we're going to be adding it in there as well, if you don't mind adding that, please. Thank you, Lauren. Then we're going to be also using the seasonings and the spices. We're going to be using nutmeg. Mm, this is the cinnamon. Mm. You are? Mm -hmm. I smell then you'd love raw. And then we're adding some of this lemon zest. This is a one teaspoon of the lemon zest. Mm. So we've chopped up the dates that were pre-soaked and dehydrated, so you may go ahead and add that if Put you wish. And this are, these are the raisins that we've also pre-soaked and that goes in there as well. So this is pretty easy. Once you've done the prep, the prep work, this is very, very easy. This is the easiest part, is, to be quite honest. And we're going to fill the pie dish. So we've got the crust and you see the crust is already set. You can also take the crust and put it in the refrigerator for two hours. And while you're cutting this up and making this and then bring it back out, it will actually set even better. Here we have the apple pie. There's no cooking doing done here. Go it right smells ahead. amazing compared to a cooked apple pie. Sure. This smells fresh and just like apples. You so keep doing that while I wash the hands and I prepare now for the almond cream. So here we have the almonds which have the skins off. So this would be equivalent to blanched almonds in the cooked world. Okay. So we simply sit down, we peel it off, it's very time consuming and it's really a great practice in meditation. So, yeah. how much is that, about a cup? This um, here is actually 
a, a cup or a cup and a half. It's really up to you how much of it that you want to make. Okay. And then we're going to put in just a half a teaspoon of the vanilla. 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 So it's not very much. And then we're going to be using these days, but this time we're going to keep the water because this will need liquid to move. So we're going to liquefy it. Now we're going to make the almond cream. Creating that and just go around with it. Okay. And I will have this one here. I'm going to show you now the difference between the other cream which I made beforehand. So this is what we have, the finished product here. So you can see they're the same apple pie, they look differently. So you simply, this is more the French way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Looks more like a tart. Yes, it does. So that's why we have it that way. So you, it's really up to you, you can play with it. And now we're going to play some more. And these are edible flowers. Really? Mm -hmm. And so we can either put this on the pie, or we <laughs> can put it around the pie to decorate <laughs> it as well. And you can even put it on top to decorate it a bit. They're very pretty, they add a lot of color. Exactly, exactly. And so for festive occasions. So we're going to be remembering as you do this, that this has no eggs in it. So you've got to be very careful how you lift it out. There you are, and we'll give you a fork with that. I uh -huh. don't have one, okay. <laughs> the taste. Wow, wow. This is the best apple pie really I've ever had. I love it. <laughs> Seriously, this is the most amazing thing I've ever tasted.